guys, so today I'm very excited for this video. I thought I'd do a chatty Anna Sophia Rob inspired makeup tutorial because I was trying to find people that look similar to me um, and I think she's one of the people and I've been told that we kind of look a bit similar. So I thought I'd try and recreate one of her looks. The one I'm going for I actually searched on Pinterest, I just searched her name. It came up, it's very golden eyes with kind of this like nude, nude pinky glossy lip. Um, and she looks quite fresh and kind of like really nicely highlighted so I thought I'd do that. I've just started off by um, doing her hairstyle. She has more of like a side parting but recently because I've just been doing middle parting I just rather keep it like that but I've just kind of gone for this you know um, hairstyle where you take some back which is kind of what she's going for and then just kind of some bits at the front. Um, so yeah. So the first thing I'm going to do is moisturise because there's nothing worse than I find like putting on concealer or something and then it feeling quite dry so I like to moisturise first just to make sure that it goes on really really nicely so I just like to put some down my nose under my eyes because sometimes I find that that kind of helps blend the concealer more uh, especially if it's quite dry and then I just kind of take it around my face I do get quite red quite easily when I put stuff on, like even when I don't do it very hard, but I can't help it. I put a bit on my forehead because although I don't apply like foundation or concealer on my forehead um, because I'm worried about getting spots and stuff, like I just don't want them in my life. Um, I do powder it because sometimes I don't really like the look of a shiny forehead. So I put on some moisturiser just so that when I powder it doesn't look dry. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to start off with concealer and I'm going to take the wake me up and I heard that rather than swiping it you get a lot more of the product on if you just do dots so I just like to do two dots here, um, quite small but um, I like it and the good thing about that concealer it has these tiny little like sparkles in that kind of um, makes you look more awake that's why it's called wake me up so I'm just going to blend this in using my finger. I also want to apologise for the lighting, it's going to go light and dark loads because um, it's sunny but there are clouds in the sky so when the sun's out it goes really really bright and when the clouds are hiding the sun it goes really really dark. The next thing I like to do is take my Match Perfection Foundation by Ramel, um, I use this all the time and I just like to apply a bit to my cheeks, just to, because that's where my redness is and I do like it. And now all I'm going to do is blend it in with my Brew Techniques brush, which is the Experts Face Brush. Because my red cheeks go quite far, I like to take it quite far down, um, just to reduce the redness. I take a bit on my nose, and I also blend the concealer and foundation together. I should have really used a mirror to um, see how much foundation I was putting on this cheek. I feel like I put a bit too much on, but oh well. Now the other cheek. So now I'm going to put powder at the end, just in case I get any fallout, I don't want it kind of sticking to me. So I'm going to move on to my eyes. So the look Anna Sophia Rob has in this photo is really, really golden, so I thought I'd use my Naked palette because that has like the perfect colours inside. So here are the colours, and I think I'll be mainly using these guys here because they are very golden and I'm just using the Urban Decay brush that it came with so I'm going to start with the colour Buck all over my lid so I've used Buck as my base shade um, and now I'm going to take this blending brush by Real Techniques and just blend it out just so there's no harsh lines. Now I'm going to take this colour Half Baked and apply it to the centre of my lid into this corner here.
Now that I've applied all of that, I'm just going to take the blending brush again and just blend this out. Now I'm going to take the shades Smog and Toasted and blend them together and just put this in the crease. I'm also bringing this quite high because in the picture Anna's for Rob's makeup is quite high up. I know it looks a bit crazy right now but once I blend it out it will look fine. Okay, so I'm happy with that, so I'm just going to again take the blending brush and just start blending. I'm now going to put in a tiny bit of dark gloss into the crease again just to open up the eyes even more. And now just blend it. Now that I'm happy with that, I'm just going to take Smog and Toasted just slightly underneath my eye. And I'm just going to be using um, a H&M brush and it's double sided and I'm just going to be using the round side. And now just slightly blend this out. So now that i finished the eyeshadow, I'm going to take this eyebrow pencil, um, which is a brown colour, but I'm going to use it as eyeliner, it's not actually mine. This sounds a bit weird, but when I was cleaning one of the guest rooms, when they'd left, she actually left it behind. I cleaned it and everything, but I thought it'd be really good, because in the photo, it looks like she has some sort of like brown eye pencil going on. Okay, so now that I've done that um, on the top of my lash line, I'm going to do it underneath as well. I'm not going to put too much of this on because this is just to help define the lashes more. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows with the brow archery as always. And um, I've actually been trying something different. I've actually been slightly filling in the front of my eyebrows because I do have hairs there but they're quite thin so um, I just really lightly do that and then I take the pen side and just do the end and there we have it one eyebrow I'm just gonna brush it through using my super drug um, eyebrow brush which I bought the other day. Now time to do the other one. In the photo it does seem like she has quite full brows going on so... I mean these are quite full for, for me at the moment but um, I do something else in a minute. Okay, so I think I'm happy with them, and then what I like to do is take the brush that I used for um, my foundation at the beginning and just kind of put it through the front just so it blends out the front because I don't want it to be too harsh. And again, another quick brush through. So in the photo, Anna's eyelashes look really, really nice and big, so I'm going to get my eyelash curlers and just curl them. So I've just been using my Lash Accelerator by Rimmel on my lashes. My card was full and it wasn't recording, but at least I realised, so I've just been applying that. And now I'm just going to apply a tiny bit onto my bottom lashes. Now I'm just going to set my makeup with the Stay Matte, of course, and my multitask brush. 
I'm not going to do too much, I'm just going to do a bit on my T-zone, my forehead, under my eyes because she looks really kind of dewy and fresh so I don't really want to do it too much. Now she looks quite bronze in this photo so I'm going to use my bourgeois powder and just the special, is it, what was it called? Sculpting brush, that's it, um, and just put a tiny bit, not too much. I'm then going to put a bit down my nose, um, my chin, and my forehead because she is really, really glowing and bronzed in this photo. And now that that's done, I'm going to be applying some of my new MAC blusher in Margin with the Multitask brush again. It's so nice, this. Um, it's quite pigmented, so you need a little bit, but um, I want to use this because this is quite peachy. She kind of has that glow tar, and this adds a really nice natural shimmer. Now what I'm going to be doing is applying the lipstick. I've got my MAC lipstick, which is the first time I'm using this because I kind of wanted to save it for something special. And this is Runway Hit. And then I'm also going to be using the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker um, in Nudist. So this is the matte lipstick. That's why I'm using the uh, gloss just to gloss it up because her lips are shiny. And now I'm going to apply Nudist on top. And there we have it, the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had fun trying to recreate it in my way and with the products that I have. Um, it's really, really nice. Also, if you guys didn't already know, then me and my friend Karina, we are both in a band together called Three Roads. And we put up a video of us doing a Safe and Sound by Taylor Swift. And we did loads of cool harmonies and stuff. So if you fancy checking that out, then I will leave a link here. Or you can go down into the description. So thank you very much for watching my video. If you guys enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. I may do other inspired recreation tutorials in the future. Who knows? But um, I had a lot of fun doing this. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in a while and I find it a lot of fun. So, I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye! What was I going to say? Then, moving on to outfits, I found uh, quite a few dresses in Primark that I liked. The first one is, um, it's kind of similar to my dungarees. Again, it's got those straps and stuff, but it's a, a dress instead, so it's just got this skirt, and then it's got this 